On August 2nd, Health Canada published a document where they recommend the complete registration of HopGuard antiviroa treatment. Today, the product is not officially registered, but it should not be long. Today, we're talking about the ops based miticide HopGuard 2. Hello, my name is Patrick Nadeau from Artisan de la Ruche. As you can see, today we are recording inside. We are in Quebec City and it started to be a little bit cold outside, so we decided to do like our bees and we stay inside in a warm place for today. I don't know if you already heard about HopGuard. It is an anti-Varroa hops-based product that is already used in the United States since a few years. Here, the Canadian agency that is responsible of the approval of anti-parasitic products has just released in August this paper. It is the proposed uh, registration decision where they recommend the complete registration of HopGuard for the sale and use in honeybee hives. So the process is not completed yet, but the product should be available soon for Canadian beekeepers. On our side, of course, we never used it because it's still not approved, but we wanted to take this opportunity to share with you what we already know about this product. HopGuard 2, what is it? The active ingredient in HopGuard is hop beta acids present as potassium salts. But what are these hop beta acids? They are weak organic acids, naturally present in the environment and produced by hop plants. Their little name, lupulone, adlupulone, and colupulone. And beta acids are used in the case of hop guard for their miticide function. The precise mode of action of product is not really known. It would be through direct contact that the varroamites are killed. It means the bees must come into contact with the strips in order to kill mites on them. Directions for use. It is recommended to place one strip per five frames for 10 to 15 days. The strips should be hung in the brew chamber of honeybee hives. HopGuard 2 is applied in spring or late summer or fall. We need to choose a time when there is little or no brood, because it could reduce efficacy of the product. Here's some extra information. The product can be used during honey flow. It is a natural solution to control varroa, and it should not create resistance. So, that completes the video for today. We hope that you liked it. If so, please let us know by clicking the little thumb just down the video. Subscribe to our channel. Very nice projects are coming for the next season. And if you want to receive all notifications from Artisan de la Ruche, do not hesitate to activate the little bell. On our side, we will continue to follow the HopGuard certification process. If the product is available for the next season, we will probably test it on some of our colonies. So that's it for today and see you next time.